Hey guys, so today I'm going to try to paint with some everyday items that you might find in your house. Now you don't have to try all of these out, obviously, but I'm going to do this for the first time um, today with you. So the first thing I have is black tea. So I actually use two tea bags and very little water, so it's a concentrated color. I have some dark coffee, black coffee, nothing in it. And then if your parents are okay with it, you can ask them if you can use a little bit of red wine. I've also created a chart for myself that is going to tell me what each of these items is and what it looks like. I also have a cup of water. So if I want to try to dilute these um, different liquids that can stain your paper, then I can figure out how to do that. So let's give it a go, shall we? I'm just gonna use a regular brush, it's dry. I'm gonna dip it in tea and I'm just gonna paint it directly on the paper. I'm probably gonna have to do a couple layers because as of right now, you can see it's a little yellow, which is great. We're gonna be painting fall colors, so that is pretty good. And I know that if I keep layering it, my colors will get darker. All right, so I'm just gonna clean off my brush I have some paper towel, I forgot. You should have paper towel so you blot your brush. Now we're gonna move on to coffee. All right, this is black coffee. Coffee has a very similar color, so that's good. So if you only have tea at your house, or you only have coffee in your house, it kind of looks like you might get very similar effects. So let me show you. It's a little darker, but I kind of imagine if you looked at tea and you looked at coffee, coffee, does tend to be a little bit darker. And finally, I'm gonna try red wine. Dip it in my brush, and ooh, the color is really pretty. It's kind of like a burgundy. So you can see we've got three different colors and all of them did work. Now, like with watercolors, anytime you put some sort of a pigment or stain in this situation, on paper, when it dries, it does get a little bit lighter. So when we stain our actual paper that we've drawn on, our um, watercolor paper, you might want to do it in layers. So you might want to actually try one or two of these colors, or I'm sorry, liquids, um, and maybe combine them. You know what? That's a good idea. Why don't we try that? I'm going to try the coffee, and I'm going to try a little bit of the wine, and let's see... Oh, now I got this kind of like a flesh tone. It's kind of cool. All right. So you can see we got kind of a flesh brown tone. So this might end up being something that you end up using all three liquids, or you might end up just using one of them. Um, the other thing is when you are painting with your black tea and you add water to it, you'll immediately start diluting it. So the more water you add to any of these liquids, the lighter it's gonna become. So that's something to keep in mind. The more you build up layers, the darker it's gonna become. All right, let's give it a try. Thanks for watching.